Oh, we made the wrong ones. We made focal chili. We didn't make the one that gives you hearts. Hey, what is going on guys? It is Lachlan here and welcome back to a brand new episode of Ark Survival Evolved here on the second channel. Now, if you guys happened to catch the last episode, it was, uh, it was pretty exciting. That better be a sick crossbow. And it's Ramshack. Apprentice Metal Pick. <gasps> Mastercraft! Hatchet. Hatchet. So yeah, we pulled away with, uh, I think, the first on the server. No one really confirmed it or whatnot, but I know Miola doesn't have any because he was like, dude, Mastercraft is so rare. Uh, but yeah, Mastercraft, Metal Hatchet, uh, Max Durability, 116, Weapon Damage, 174. Now, we were trying to do uh, some math, and I think we're going to do that right now, actually, and see what does more damage, a pike or a Mastercraft Hatchet. Now, the problem with the Hatchet is it will have reduced range in combat, which really sucks with ping. I, really, I like having that extra range with the Pike, but we'll, we'll see how we go. So let's see, this Diplo over here, he has 23801. If I go ahead and whack him once with the ax, it'll take him down. That did 100 damage, just, just over 100 damage, okay? I don't think the Pike does that much damage. All right, so I'm just gonna, to speed this up, I'm just gonna feed him a little here, just to heal him right. Oh, he's a, he's a herbivore. <laughs> Awkward. Uh, I'm going to assume there isn't any defense stats here. And I'm just going to try and hit this guy. So 3,400. Hit him once. And that takes him down like 55 points. So yeah, the hatchet does almost double damage. Interesting. So it's pretty much comparable to a sword. It has the same range, about the same damage, probably a little bit more. But the durability of it is probably much better. So... It's gonna be interesting. I'll keep it around. Uh, if we lose it, we'll cry together in harmony, but let's not lose it, please, for the love of God. Let's not lose it. Um, so what are we gonna do in today's episode? Now, today is June 10th in Australia, so that means uh, that uh, in a couple hours, uh, Ark is probably gonna get rid of the whole birthday celebration thing. So I really wanna take, you know, advantage of that while it's here. Uh, try and get as many cakes as we can and... I'm going to, you know, wish on a couple of them, and then I'm going to leave a couple down for XP that I can use. And uh, hopefully today, <laughs> I know as much as you guys don't want me to do it, we're going to be going back into a cave. And uh, that is because, well, the reason I want to go into a cave is because I, I want to go into a cave. But yeah, no, I, I don't know. I feel like I can try things out. I've got some chili stored up in the fridge. You guys will see us in a second. Um, but uh, I really just want to try and cook some cakes to get things started. So I've got three eggs here. i got my five candles here. And... Uh, Siri, shut up. Why does Siri... Siri just instantly just wants to butt in. And then we got our Dino Party hat. I want to try and unlock all four pieces before this update goes away. I think I have enough resources for two, maybe three cakes. Maybe three cakes. Uh, we still got enough beer liquid here, so I'm going to go ahead... I'm going to chuck that thatch in. That'll make one more beer liquid when I'm gone. Uh, but I need to get myself a water jar. The thing that sucks is it doesn't give you back like a... Uh, it doesn't give you back any... Um, water jar at all. You just you just get scammed, like legit scam. You lose everything, so it, it feels bad, man. It takes your beer and it bounces. Uh, but yeah, hopefully these two will... I, okay, so this is where I've been doing for the most part. So I've been grinding off screen a little bit, um, trying to you know, get some XP and whatnot. You may see a slight increase in XP, nothing crazy. Um, so I'll just take those two beer liquids. Um, very, very heavy indeed. Oh, and I need to put the spark powder in here, because this was actually turning into some rotten meats in here, so I had to top that up. Uh, and we've actually got a decent amount of prime meat uh, jerk right now so we're building that up for the uh the quetzal kibble which is of course for the giga uh, the top comment was like lachlan go try and tame a giga dude we're trying we're just working it up you know um and it doesn't matter because we I, what do you level do you get a giga saddle 85 no one's gonna get that <laughs> i hate arc sometimes um so yeah and then i've also gotten 49 dodo eggs i've been sitting here grinding eggs like a madman um so yeah that that's the cool thing and then these are the chilies i made i made two chowders two fryer curries and two chilies um so that's gonna be exciting we're gonna go into the caves today i'm gonna fully repair all my armor i'm gonna go in and we're gonna have fun or die trying hopefully we don't die all right so that's pretty much everything we need let's make our first cake craft it and go i want to see if i can fit two cakes on a table that would be lit um i will eat one oh, i suppose i'll eat one today anyway so that's fine uh put out the fire. I'll go grab the other eggs because it's too heavy to carry them all on you at once. Any other eggs in here? Oh, people were telling me to feed them or they're going to die. So I made sure to fill out their box with berries because people were telling me they were going to die. This guy might die though. He only eats eggs. And I don't like feeding him eggs. So you can die. All right. And so the other news as well is that uh, I actually went ahead and uh, took the Quetzal to the dimension of uh, cold. Uh, what kind of craft this? There we go. And, uh, I went ahead and killed some woolly rhinos. Killed about nine of them. Brought back nine rhiny woolly rhin- Nine 
woolly rhino horns. Uh, so we can make some Broth of Enlightenments today. And we're going to see if they stack. Sad face if they don't. Good positive face if they do. Alright, so let's chuck our first one down here. I don't think I'm ever going to be able to fit two on this table, but I can die trying. Uh, I can barely fit one on as it is, so that's definitely not happening. Let me try and put it really forward, like right there. Alright, there we go. What the hell? Did I just lose a cake? It's fine. Okay, it's down. It's, I thought I lost a cake now. I was like, oh, chill out, chill out, chill out. Okay, so let's see. Let's make a wish. Come on. Please don't give me a repeat. Please give me the hat, the diner hat for myself. Oh, not the diner hat, the party hat for myself. Please go. Oh, yes! Wes, we got it! Asking you shall receive. We got it. We got the party hat. Oh, yes! We got it. Let's put it on. Look at me. I can celebrate now. <laughs> celebrate good times. See, it's like I don't know what to wear now. The trike helmet or, or the party hat. It's so dark in here. But I like to party, so I'm going to leave it on. All right. Okay, so we've got one more cake. The only piece that we're seeing now is the birthday suit for the chess piece. Um, so, I mean, we'll get that when we get that. Okay, so that's the first part of this episode today. Now, welcome back to Lachlan's Cooking Show. Today, we're going to be cooking some Broth of Enlightenment. So, like I said, I went ahead and I uh, got a bunch of this off screen. Uh, I've got... How many? Where are they? I thought it was this chest. No, I must... I put them all in here. I put them all in here. All right. So, yeah, I've got 11 woolly rhino horns. Uh, a woolly rhiny. I keep calling it the same one, woolly rhiny. Woolly rhino horns. We've got 11 of them. I only need 10, though, so don't worry about that. And perfect. And then we're going to need uh, two black pearls as well. This is going to weigh me down. Uh, we're, uh, we're fine. We're fine. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get all the ingredients to try and cook myself up some broth of enlightenment. And these give you 50% more XP for 20 minutes. All right. So, 20, 20 minutes. And it's like one of the rarest uh, little broths you can make. Because the black pearls and the woolly rhino horns, like, it's like two crazy things. Two crazy ingredients. Okay, so you're obviously going to need one black pearl, five rhino horns. Then you're also going to need a full water skin, which I religiously forget whenever I cook. So number one new move to trying to cook right there. Um, so then you're going to need two uh, rock carrots, two long grasses, two salva roots, and two citronels. So pretty much two of every little ver uh, fruit and vegetable that you can get here. And um, then you're also going to need ten meal berries. I'm going to grab three because we know how this works. Where I get out like more than I don't need and then they all die. Oh, wait, I need... More than that, actually, because I'm going to make, um... I'm just going to grab out a whole bunch of each. Yeah, because I'm going to make two each. And I got a bunch of Mijios, or Mio, or whatever you want to say. M berries. <laughs> got some Master Berries in here. Uh, if I can just access that food trough. Yep, there we go. Take them out. Sorry, Dodos. These are gone to the greater good. Alrighty, chuck them in. Let's get rid of those birthday things. Alrighty, and this should... I'm just double-checking here. I'm going to make sure I felt that water skin when the first one comes through. Actually, I just felt this one right now. Um, but yeah, I think that should be everything for some Broth of Enlightenments. I don't know how long it takes. Just double-checking here. Apparently, you can also use the Broth of Enlightenments attain an Arthur Plura and replaces a potential kibble. Apparently, it's really good to use as food for animals as well. And there we go. Oh, it looks more blue in the game. Uh, on the wiki, it looks purple. Okay, so there we go. Uh, there we go. Broth of Enlightenment. A single sip of this incredible broth will expand your mind and broaden your horizons, granting greatly increased experience gain for a brief period. What's the money these things don't stack, man? I'll be heartbroken if they don't. Because my strat is to eat the cake, go into the cave, and then eat the chili broth, and then bounce, and then just go. I've got like a, a roundup. 200% XP buff, um, and I'm just going around slaying things. Like, I'm going slaying, and I'm killing things. And it's going to be a great time. I, I really hope you guys are excited, because I am. But these things take way too long to cook. Alrighty, and there we go. The second one has been made. I'm going to take those berries out and give them to our boys over here. There you go. Don't worry. And, oh, it's actually kind of dark outside. I probably should up the gamma, but it's fine. I just changed the gamma myself. But also, it was like a top comment, and it was like, you need to give your party hat to Joey. So, I don't worry, guys. I'm not going to disappoint here. Uh, how do I do this? How do I, how, how do I give it to him? No, do I have to take the saddle off him first and then give it to him? Yep, there we go. And let's give him his party hat. There we go. Yes! He's, he's a party. Look, we party rocking tonight, boys. <laughs> Me and my boy Joey, we party rocking, boys. Oh, that's so lit. Like, you can't even say, oh, wow, that's not lit, Lachlan, because that is clearly lit. I want to get, you know what? I wouldn't be mad with double ups on the party hats for the dinos. I would not be mad. I'd actually really rate that if I got that from this last one. Because this is realistically going to be the last lot of cakes I make, so. After that, it's going to be Broth of Enlightenment all day, every day. 
because XP is hard to come by in this game. Alrighty, just getting some final prep done before we leave, just repairing everything up so it doesn't break in the cave, even though it probably will anyway. Um, I should probably bring a... Yeah, that's my problem. I don't bring a spare set to these caves. I'm going to bring, like, a spare set of chitin that's just sitting here in, uh... Yeah, just, I'm just going to bring this... Oh, what was that? Yeah, this is Apprentice Chitin. Holy damn. All right, I'll, I'll bring the spare set here. Um, I think... I don't know whose it is. I know some of the ramshackle pieces were mine, but... The helmet is actually better than a, um... Than a flak. I won't bring the helmet, because I want to lose the helmet. The helmet's actually good. By the way, I haven't seen any Apprentice or ramshackle flak. I only see chitin. I honestly want to go out and find an Alpha Kano again. That's That was like the perfect one. Because if I find an Alpha Raptor, I don't really care. I could probably man fight an Alpha Raptor with my axe. I, I honestly think I could. Um, but I, I, either way, I want to just have a quick look to see what's out there. Um, it's dark time, so you can see like the little things coming out easy. Screw it, we're just going to go to a cave. Like, I just CBA. I've said it before and, I've, and I'll say it again. Can people please tell me the best ways to level up an arc? So we can unlock this bloody saddle, please. I beg of you right now. I need these tips, okay? So I'm going to go in with uh, Fire Curry because that gives you uh, more warmth. Yeah, so I'm going to bring this. It gives uh, comfortable warmth. So we'll go into like a cold cave with this thing. And then we'll go uh, with the Focal Chili as well to get increased melee damage and all that. And uh, I won't bring the Chowder with me. I don't really need that. Um, I think I'm going to go back into that cave we went into last time because there was a lot of fish. Fish don't give you poison. They don't knock you out. I like that kind of deal. So I'm down for that. I'm also going to go ahead and put away the sickle and... Uh, I shouldn't bring the hatchet with me, should I? Alright, let's... Yeah, damage control right now. We're going to put away this. We're going to get rid of the apprentice metal pig. We're going to bring the primitive one. I'm going to take the mastercraft hatchet. I'm not going to take the sickle. And that should be that. Damage control, ladies and gentlemen. Damage control. Heck, I think we lose a lot if we die down here. So, let's just not die, eh? All right, we're going to ride into battle with none other than yours truly, Joey the Kangaroo. Just going to up that movement speed so he's moving fast. And uh, before we leave, though, going to go ahead and make some quick arrows because we only got 46. I'd like to have a few more arrows up my sleeve uh, before we go ahead and take on a full cave. I'd love to bring back another relic, man. I really want to... Yeah, I felt defeated. This is the same cave that we went through last time. And we were a little defeated. All right, there we go. We'll have about 70 arrows. That should be enough. I do most of the man fighting in this cave. Um, but yeah, I honestly... I feel like if I level Joey up enough, he might be like better than flying. I feel like he could be my, my main transport. Although his stamina, his stamina is a little lacking though, I will admit. It'd be so cool to walk around on Joey all day. Alrighty, Joey. Make sure, stay neutral, fight anyone who comes nearby. And don't let them bully- Oh, I didn't eat the broth of- I didn't eat the cake. Alright, so I didn't eat the cake before I left, but I'm actually just gonna go ahead and make another one here. Um, I don't see the reason why not, so I've got, I've got all the materials to do it, although I can't place the table flat down, can I? Surely I have enough to make a foundation, though. Uh, yeah, there we go. Here's some moving, but I don't see moving. Interesting. Okay, and here we go, setting up the table. Uh, <laughs> I better not die here, I'm gonna lose so much and be so tilt, actually. Um, so there we go, chuck this down as well. And, yeah, there's a lot of high risks on right now. Alright, let's make the wish, come on! I'll take it. I said I wouldn't be mad if I got another Dino Potter hat. That's cool. I can chuck it on the Quetzal or something. I'll take that. Very much so cool. Thank you. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to you. Blah, 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 blah. Birthday, birthday, birthday. Da, 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 da. Reduce some weight here. I don't know where all this weight is coming from, but I am a fat mother fudger. All right, there we go. Let's eat the cake. And let's see if these things stack. I mean, it had to be done. No one in the comments knew. So I will test for everyone right now. And they so lit. All right. Well, that sucks. Maybe they do, and they just don't. You just can't see it. I don't know. It feels bad, man. That really sucks. And it's, the thing is, they're exactly the same buff. One's just really hard to craft. Feels bad. Feels real bad. People may argue that I should have bought bug repellent, but bug repellent does not work here. We know that right now. We know that bug repellent doesn't work here. We're just here to get this level 74, and that's about it. This is the thing. I'm gonna end up using the pike for everything. I reckon. All right, Onyx, let's go. I, I hate how they're called Onyx. Like, I feel like I'm just like, yeah, Pokemon, I choose you, Onyx. And, like, it kind of makes sense because they're in caves and whatnot as well. Let's be careful here. Uh, I might pop those chilies, actually. Yeah, let's pop the chilies. Yeah, there we go. Chili, chili enabled. Chili down. Yeah, oh, that's not good. Uh, snakes are... We gotta watch out for the Arthur Pleurus. That's what we to save our arrows for. I don't know how I feel about this axe, man. That axe ain't doing that much damage. This is the Mastercraft one, right? Wonder, how does he work against a... 
Yeah, see, like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about the axe. I feel like the pike's just a much better option because the range I get out of it. Alright, we gotta watch our tour for here. Alright, we gotta watch a lot of things, actually. Alright, we gotta back up. Let's just back up. We do have the ramshackle one, the ramshackle bow that we got yesterday in our inventory. I think that's the one we're using right now. So there's that. Alright, uh, one more and he's dead. Alright, he's dead. There we go, Arthur Plura. This is the ramshackle one, right? Yeah, but it's got the lower weapon damage than what Miola had. So that sucks. Our top is going up. We might actually get knocked out here. Yeah, not sure how I feel about this Mastercraft hatch. It doesn't feel like it's doing a crazy amount of damage. Oh, hello, Arthur Plurus. I could probably tame one of these guys. Man fight, man fight, man fight, man fight, man fight, and run. You're gonna get knocked out, Lachlan. You're gonna get knocked out. Oh my god. Okay, so, key things to take away from that session just there. Some guy just tried to spit at me. Yep, that was you. Um, the key things to take away from that. We actually didn't die because we fell on the snake. Um, so there's that. We are probably gonna get knocked out, though. So I need to make sure everything's dead around me. We already got injected with so much torpor there. I want no one to come at me. Alright, let's eat that last Timberry. How are we ice cold? I swear. We brought so much stuff with us. I'm probably gonna skip that whole section there. Yeah, we didn't take any fall damage, I don't think, because we actually... Yeah, so we're slowly losing HP because we didn't bring enough warmth. Even though we brought the chilies. That sucks. Arthur Plur is everywhere, man. Oh, thank god that didn't work. Oh, no. You cannot be fucking serious. Please, for the love of God. No! No! Please! Yes! Yes! Remember those glitches where the out there players can't get past you? I think we just got blessed up. I think we just got blessed up. Come on. Please wake up, Loki. Please wake up. It's still going up. This is not what I imagined out of the cave. Okay. It's going down now. But I think it has to go down all the way down to the bottom. See, I think we maybe could have tanked the Althea Pluris. He probably would have broken all of our stuff. Um, actually, probably couldn't have, actually. Because I don't, I don't, he, he doesn't inject Torpor, so we might have woken up in time. But all of our armor would have broken. He probably would have killed us. It's just you're down for so long. You're down for so long. All right, we're going to wake up soon. We're going to wake up soon right about now. All right, I, I might also be down for the idea of getting level 75 and bouncing. But that's just me, though. I don't know. He's getting a little bit of bad debuffs on him. Let's try and get for a headshot. There we go. One more and he's dead. Okay. Arthur Plur level 5. What level 5 was that hard to take down? Hello. How are you? Do you like to die? Oh, no, you don't. Oh, is, wait, you can access inventory on this guy? What has he got? What's this guy got? Oh, he got free arrow for me. Uh, primitive. Oh, free arrows. Okay, cool. Oh, stimberries. I'll take those, actually. I probably should have brought some stimulants or something with me, I swear. You got anything on you as well? Oh, you guys all have, like, supplies. That's cool. You guys are the best. Am I missing all these shots, or is this scorpion just really tanky? Uh, it looks like he has a very high level. Okay, cool. 56. So let's see, like, what the pike is like. Yeah, I guess the bats, I probably should just use a hatchet. And when I'm using, like, snakes or something, or... Yeah. I was worried because I was going to run out of water, but I just remember there's water down there, so we can drink it. Even though I should die if I drink that water in real life. But hey, video games, right? So let's check our armor. Um, looks like we probably received one of those sprays. Or maybe it's just all the damage we got from the bats, maybe even. Um, Alright, what was the right one to go down? It was this one. Where are my anemones? There they are. <laughs> there are my anemones. Alright, let me just test this out here. I'm testing the hatchet. Holy anemones! Why are there so many anemones? I am losing health quicker than I would like to lose health. That's kind of BS, really. Did anybody see how many f there were just then? Like, that was kind of very dumb how many there were there. I didn't even get a level, but I killed so many. And it doesn't end there. Alright, I'm gonna use the pike for this one because I feel like I one bang them anyway. Oh, there's a beacon down there. There's a beacon down here. Alright, go down. What's in the beacon? What's in the beacon? What's in the beacon? Hello, be beacon. There's a crocodile. Hello. Hello, crocodile. Alright, ain't much ain't much scarier than coming down and seeing a your favorite crocodile. Alright, let's use some hatchet skills here. Oh, I gotta be careful my I actually can't hit him and he can't hit me, so I'm just gonna rise up because I'm getting out of health. So I genuinely need that sometimes. Alright, we're losing health here, I think. Yeah, we're about to break bones and whatnot. 
now we have to use a pike yeah he's healing up too here we don't lose um why is he so hard to kill at level 20 oh god all right we don't lose hearts here thought one of the chilies was meant to give you an overwhelming amount of hp per second oh we made the wrong ones we made focal chili <laughs> we didn't make the one that gives you hearts we were meant to make the other one we made focal chili instead we didn't even make the <laughs> solid one Loki. solid one all right so we're only going in grabbing that supply beacon and bouncing before we die um how we haven't gotten a level yet though that's kind of disappointing all right guys well we came we conquered and we nearly got a level so now it's our time to leave <laughs> it's still going to be a bit of a battle getting out of the cave because of all the other crap so we're going to be careful here all right dung beetle how you going give me that xp that you have inside of you i would like it level 41 oh that's not bad xp wait what that other oh 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 okay okay they're playing ball now they're playing ball all right we got arthur pleuris on our case now two arthur pleuris on my case oh i think we got hit then no we didn't we're good this is actually the way to go what level is this demon baby sorry facebook notification while you do this 53 damn all right let's get the fudge out of here oh snakes <laughs> i just look one way i look the other and then just nope both ways all right we've got a problem getting out we've got a congestion here at uh one exit of the cave all right all right let's go let's go let's go bats let's go let's go bats let's go is that a snake no good all right let's go bats go away facebook i sorry i sorry i sorry i sorry we have to get out of here alive we have to fight for what's right to party we're gonna start losing health soon we're, gonna, we're actually gonna break bones soon oh no wonder they can't get there's like an invisible wall there go away everything just like no i gotta work on that entrance with spiders oh, we're about to lose our increased oh oh no oh no you can't go past you kenny yep invisible wall no top horse please <gasps> level 70 yes we did it okay we got a level let's get the fudge out of here we got a level and no Okay, I'm doing this for everyone. Everyone involved here. This thing was this thing needed to go a while ago. There we go. Alright, I don't know why that was there. <laughs> that nearly killed me. No! Why? We're so close. You just have to do this, don't you? Alright, we just gotta fight some bats on the way out. And we can leave with peace. And we got level 74? Yep, 74. Oh cheeky. Ah, good old sunlight. Did you miss me, Joey? You missed me, buddy? Ah, where's your hat gone? There it is. All right. Yeah, it was a tough time in the cave. Did I get the artifact? No, I didn't because I didn't make the right uh, chilies. But hey, we still had fun. Okie dokie. And we are... We're back home. All righty. Well, we're out for exactly the whole debuff duration. Oh, sorry. Buff duration, not debuff duration. Um, yeah, I, I would say successful trip in the fact that we actually got um a bunch of raw fish meat uh no we got a, a bunch of xp got the level that we needed now we only need one more and then we can craft the mosasaurus saddle we're almost there guys but yeah guys i'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up right there hope you guys did go on to enjoy i want to hear your thoughts on the mastercraft hatchet should we use it in future caves i don't know let me know what you guys think and uh i guess i'll catch you guys tomorrow with a brand new episode later guys